Press pause and answer the question. So this is looking at the same data, and it's saying, okay, what is the approximate probability that someone from Houston or San Antonio does not identify as Latino? So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what's the probability that someone does identify as Latino, and then you'll take one minus that number. So we know from our previous question, it looks something like this. We know that the total population of these two cities, Houston and San Antonio, is equal to 8,863,485 people. And we're given that Houston has 2,355,000 Latinos, and San Antonio has 1,277,000 Latinos. So the total population of Latinos is 3,632,000. Okay. So now we have to figure out what is the probability that someone from one of those two cities is Latino, and then we'll take one minus that number. So we'll take this number here, this 3,632,000, and we will divide it by the total population, because that's what probability is. The uh, number of occurrences where the condition is satisfied, in this case the person is Latino, divided by the total number of possible occurrences, which in this case is the total number of people in San Antonio plus Houston. So we can divide 3,632,000, that's the number of Latinos in both cities, divided by the total population in both cities, 8,863,485, and we get 0 0.41. Now, what does that mean? One of the available answers is 41%, but that's not the answer we want here, because that's the probability that someone from Houston or San Antonio is Latino. We're looking for the probability that someone from Houston or San Antonio does not identify as Latino. And so you have 41% who do, so 100% minus 41% is 59%. So we have 59% of people in those two cities do not identify as Latino.